Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Let's begin this reading for you, Cancer. Let's begin. Someone rising in Venus. What does Cancer need to know? There's unfinished business. I'm seeing somebody wanting to repair on work on something. It's not over. We have the snake here wanting to show how halfway competition and enemy so looking over your shoulder there's somebody that may have a family here with another with a feminine energy is what i'm seeing so needing time this energy may need time to heal or making progress wanting to fix something here unfinished business that you have timing is of the essence here okay so somebody needs time to close out a cycle with another person this energy may have children or there may be a family here situation with this other person but there's unfinished business it's back and forth it's not over somebody's coming in being very persistent because they know that they know that they they're the ones who could have ruined the connection in the past i see somebody wanting to repair something with you taking a chance we have rolling the dice taking a leap of faith i'm going to clarify this energy okay self-reflection introspection Someone's in introspection about this baggage. I see back and forth baggage. See timing. Time is of the essence. Could have been the wrong timing between you and this person. We have stalemate and waiting. Someone's transcending. So the advice here for you is to wait. We have new love, a new beginning, and moving on. It says you're moving on. Ascending. Hiding, hiding motives, hiding motives and concealing. Someone's anxious about a karmic relationship that they know that they're in. They're in a karmic relationship with this. With this, it doesn't have to be a snake, okay? But it says your competition. This person it says perception, perception about this turmoil, fleeting turmoil, intensity, and letting go. This is somebody taking a leap here to fix a connection with you, Cancer. In divine timing, perfect timing, waiting. So I said timing, timing is of the essence. See, we have an addiction. There's been a change here. Someone here committed to another person, but now they're single because they've seen the truth about a snake. That's what I'm seeing. Don't tell me no. Let's uh, let's clarify. Let's get into the tarot. Wow, well, it's not expecting all of, all of that. Unfinished business with this person. Needing time to heal, so, but making progress. This person's moving on. Somebody's moving on. They're single. They could be alone. There's a secret here being revealed to you or a gift. See, this karmic relationship showed with this stress, stress and anxiety. Somebody feels restless. This kind of feels like the nine of swords. This nine of swords with this uh, resentment triggers. We are completing a 16-year cycle. 16-year karmic cycle. So... Um, I think it's quite interesting that we just had a, another second moon in Capricorn. The first moon happened back in June when we usher in Cancerian season was when the first full moon for Capricorn took place. I think it was June 22nd. And now we're ending can, can, we're ending the season with another Capricorn full moon. We also had a new moon in Cancer. I think it was in the beginning of July. So I was thinking of that today. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you think that's interesting, I think it's interesting um, happening at the time as we began Cancerian season. I, I just I was thinking of that today. So we have a confession from someone. We have a confession here from a, from somebody that wants to fix a connection with you. And they have gained a perception about another feminine energy. This person could feel overworked. They're working a lot or maybe they're focusing on focusing on work so they don't have to think. We have change. Somebody's single. The nines are singular energies. There's a change here. Somebody's relocating or moving. Somebody could be moving out of a home also. Unfinished business is what somebody here feels they have with you. It's not over. It's not over. We have expectation 28, 9, and 10. I feel like this feminine energy, someone's seeing how false they are thinking about this could be a masculine that's thinking about you 
while they're at work. This person thinks about you when they're when they work. We have somebody here lurking in the background. See, I said it. There's somebody moving out of a home. That is the, that is the message I, I channeled. Yeah, this this could be also adjudication, legalities. Okay, someone may be evicted. I don't know where this is coming from. So take the message how it resonates. <laughs> Possession and controlled is what I'm seeing here. There's there's been a false sense of entrapment. And now this person's seeing, okay, I have to, I have to now set myself free. Okay, I don't have to be in this situation any longer. It's what I'm hearing someone say. Okay, I'm not using this deck, but I just I just saw the eight of wands again. This eight of wands keeps showing for you. With somebody who feels like they missed the boat, Cancer. This is a, a missed opportunity or disappointment. Look, 44, again, four of swords. And here they come. Knight of Cups. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I see communication with this eight of wands. Are we using this deck? I don't know. I mean, before we move, somebody here was thinking a lot about you. And it could be when, they, when they're at work, Cancer. I feel like they have this feminine energy, which I'm going to clarify this, this situation here. Karmic situation, I want to say. I'm going to clarify this. this uh, look over your shoulders. What says here? Look over your shoulder. Decision is time to decide. Well, somebody's deciding. I feel like this person's seeing you now abundant perhaps they thought that you didn't not you didn't have much to offer i'm seeing something here about wrong timing wrong timing regret and balance someone feels the remorse for the way that they conducted themselves because probably you gave too much to them and they didn't give enough back to you so we have balance and regret because they didn't give enough to you they didn't give they didn't give to you <clears throat> they don't feel like they gave they gave anything to you it's something like that they're thinking about this this energy see while well, they're at work i see somebody somebody may be a painter look we have the letter m the letter m here is showing this is a masculine thinking about a feminine energy and you're expecting you may be expecting to hear from this person somebody that's taking a leap to repair we have this repair something that they feel like they they, they sabotaged in the past with you let's clarify this i was gonna say let's clarify the snake i don't feel called to use this deck but let's see yeah let's use it because now i'm seeing three of cups interference it's what i'm seeing karmic perception someone feels resentful they feel resentful what is this um, energy in this reading for Cancer? Four of Pentacles. Someone's closed off to this person. Holding on to <clears throat> their money or maybe they're, they're holding back because of this karmic, karmic energy. There's resent, resentment. Someone's guarded, meaning they're, they're, they don't want to give here to this situation anymore. Give me one more energy for this um, the snake. Two of swords they're cutting this out yeah as i said that look the death energy and this eight of cups i don't know why it's in the reverse this to me feels like this unfinished business here um that you have with somebody it's not over now i see this person cutting out this other other energy could be a scorpio in divine timing well i mean this is happening i feel like this is happening right now in real timing there's healing that needs to take place Someone may be waiting here. This soulmate may be waiting. See, I'm seeing soulmate and healing. Somebody may be waiting here to communicate with you. Thinking about you. So, This Eight of Cups could be this third party that doesn't want to let go. Three of Swords. Someone, someone doesn't want to let go. They may want to fix. This is somebody that may want to fix this connection. I'm seeing Six of Cups. Fire energy, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this person wants to come together here with you. Cancer has been showing the Six of Cups with this Ace of Wands. I'm going to switch decks, okay? Yeah, they want to come together. This person wants to either invite you out or or I'm, I'm not getting third party from this. I'm, I'm getting, this is your energy, the Three of Cups, by the way. Give me an energy. Look at the death here, Pluto. It is about the 16-year cycle that we are, we are closing. We're we getting ready to close thinking a lot about you who is this energy that cancer has unfinished business with i just saw the two of swords someone you're not speaking to okay that has regrets 
Oh yes, they do. Seven of Wands, look at this. This person's pleading for you to hear their cause, something like that. Ten of Cups, this could also be a family, somebody in your family that you have blocked, you might have gone no contact with. But again, the Ten of Cups could be about reconciling. It's like this person's pleading for you to, yeah, listen to the hear them or reconcile with them. Seven of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Let me switch for a second, Cancer. I don't like this music. Hold on. It's a little spooky. What is this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands for Cancer? We have the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming out of a stub, feel, feeling like they were in a, again, a false sense, false sense of entrapment. Gaining perception about breaking, you know, cutting something out. Five of Pentacles. I'm, I'm channeling a message of somebody here needing to move suddenly with the Five of Pentacles. It's like the two, with the Two of Wands, it's like, where am I going to go now? This person's looking at the world, like, where am I going to go now? This Five of Wands. This could be this masculine energy. This person is relocating. I feel like there's somebody here that need that's either making a decision here to move out of a home. See, because I'm seeing Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands could be about moving. Somebody stayed stuck here in a family dynamic, marriage. You know, I channeled that message, loveless marriage yesterday. The hangman is somebody feels stuck. This is feeling stuck. This is feeling feeling tied to something that no longer is no longer fulfilling for you. Because there's resentment, there's triggers, intensity and in letting go of a karmic connection, knight of swords, like I need to, I need to go, I need to go and I need to do this quickly. I see somebody looking at this in this card, like where am I going to go now? Five, The five symbolize change in the tarot. So there is a change here. You, you're expecting communication here from this person. You are. This ten of cups is somebody that's needing to move suddenly like a family that's needing to pack up and leave. Seeing the Ten of Wands again. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the Knight of Wands. This person's taking action to relocate their family. I don't, let me know in the comments if this makes sense. Seven of Cups, something that they couldn't see. Perhaps they didn't see this change coming. I feel like there's somebody that did not see this change coming. Seeing the Ace of Wands, the Magician, Nine of Cups. Give me an energy for this reading. What is this Ten of Cups here? The Seven. Look, the Queen of Wands same seven of cups there's something about this energy that maybe this person didn't want to see in the past like they they cover their eyes they didn't want to see something queen of wands it's a fire uh gemini libra i don't know why i said gemini libra oh my god leo aries sagittarius i said this is somebody from your family this could be a mother figure also pleading for you to reconcile or hear their cause or plead I see somebody here pleading with you. This is someone you're not speaking, you, you have blocked or, or have placed firm boundaries with, like I said, no contact. It's like you don't want to hear from this energy. Why is this Queen of Wands here? In Cancer's reading. I don't want to speak. And, you know, we have this feminine energy. We have the other woman. There's a tower going on because you're not speaking here to this person. This energy could be going through some struggle, meaning they don't know how to balance out their life financially, something like that. The two of swords, it's like I, I don't want to see it. Somebody here has been has been blind to the truth. Queen of Pentacles. This person is going to try to here come pleading for you to, you know, hear them out. But I, I don't feel see because we have the, the snake here wanting to tempt and this Queen of Pentacles. The snake here is tempting this feminine energy with a pentacle. I don't feel like you want communication with this person. This energy feels like they're running out of time. They sit in panic and distress. This is somebody who's delusional, okay? That is what I got with the Seven of Cups. This is an energy that is completely de delusional. And they could be lacking finances. I, I just saw somebody here needing to pack up and leave and, you know, quickly. Five of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. There's something here this person has not been able and i feel like they're thinking a lot this is their karma somebody here is going through a very karmic cycle they may feel overworked like they need to where this person has been false this is somebody that was false with you in the past 
and you had to go no contact with. There's a lot of regrets and remorse about this. This reading just took a turn, you know, it just from love to something else. But let me know in the comments if this makes any sense for you, if it, if it resonates for you. See, one, you, this person regrets not giving to you. You might have been very giving and nurturing with this energy. Somebody in your family, it's what I'm getting, balance. They want to come into balance, but... I feel like it's because they're going through karma now that this person wants to speak with you. And I feel like you do know that. <clears throat> you do know that, Cancer. Give me an energy for this. Quiz. One more energy here. The sun. Yeah, you. this person knows that there's an abundance. That you're happy. This energy knows you're happy. This, that you have reclaimed your, your strength, your power back. It might have taken you a long time, Cancer, to get to get there, but they know they know that you're moving towards abundance. Yeah, look, and as I said that, they know that you're moving towards abundance. This could be a mother, okay? Because I'm seeing here the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. This person misses your light. It's like they see they're pleading for you to hear them out. Seven of Wands is stand stand firm on a decision you've made with this person, okay? This energy watches you in secret. Page of Swords with the Tower and the Two of Swords. You're not speaking here. You don't want to talk to this person. They feel blocked. Someone feels blocked because something here has come to an end. Yeah, and they, I see somebody moving, picking up and leaving or having to leave last minute. Could be a family. Family, yeah, King of Wands, Aries, uh, very strong Leo. This may be happening during Leo season. Somebody's heavily thinking about you. King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You don't want the cup that's being offered to you. You feel like this energy is phony. I don't know where this is coming from, but you feel like they're phony. Look at this King of Cups looking at this cup. They don't trust it. You don't trust this person. Yeah, Three of Cups. This is somebody that wants to come together with you, but you don't trust it. Yeah. Let's, let's, um, seeing the three of cups again i'm also going to say you know th there's a new there's something you're going to be celebrating here very soon because the three of cups keeps showing and i'm seeing the star which is success success for the fruits of your labor look at the page the page of pentacles and the full energy a lot of you are headed towards a new new energy it's not, and you don't want it you don't want the past you don't want the past here to resurface. That is that is a message I'm channeling. Clarify the sun and the ace of pentacles for cancer. Clarify the sun and the ace of pentacles for cancer. You, This person, you feel like they're a trickster. We have your new love connection for you. High priestess, Gemini, Pisces, cancer energy. I can't get over the snake here for this queen of pentacles. That, that is why you don't trust this person. 22, you may be seeing 22. Gosh, I'm going to show you what is at the bottom of the deck right now. And I think that this is going to be it for the reading. Um, I'm seeing the lovers, the two of cups and the two of wands. This is about not so much expecting this two of wands, but someone could be expecting. You may you might have been expecting or waiting for, for this for a while, for some time. But I feel like it is now arriving, Cancer, Ace of Cups. So this is about a new love connection. I'm seeing Capricorn energy. Somebody's watching you obsessively. I just saw the Page of Swords with the Devil. Five of Swords. Why is this Five of Wands here showing? Six, six of Swords. Someone's moving on. Again, we have it here. Fleeting from turmoil. That is what this is. Six of Swords with the Five of Wands is fleeting, fleeting from turmoil. And again, this is this message that I was getting from this Twin Flame earlier on in the reading. Knight of Pentacles, making slow moving progress forward. Something short here to arrive for you. Oh, sure it is. King of Wands. I showed the star. I showed the star here. Success, success. Um, okay, so I'm going to channel this message and I want you to, <laughs> I want you to pay attention. Pay attention, Cancer. The universe is getting ready here to bless you. Okay, the universe is getting ready here to bless you. I feel like there's somebody, people, people, or somebody that's watching you right now, they, they can see this. We have a union between soulmates with this Four of Wands and the Temperance. 
The Temperance is a Two of Cups integration of yin and yang energy. Confirmation. This King of Wands doesn't have to be a fire sign. It could be an Aquarius, it could be a Sagittarius. This is somebody here that is coming in with it, that's coming in with communication to this Divine Feminine. And there it is, the Page of Cups, because somebody feels regret. And look at who it is, the Emperor. You have a masculine energy who's coming forward here. You know, I would like to say that this is new love. Sure, you can say that this is new love, but somebody here is coming in either... The cup's not empty in the page of cups. This is this is Venus energy. It is new love. It is new love. The lovers, the two of cups. This is a coming together celebration. I channel celebration. I channel celebration with this three of cups, high priestess, and the six of pentacles. And look at it here, the ten of cups. The ten of cups, which is a happiness. All your cups, all your cups filled. All your cups filled, Cancer. So you will be celebrating... Um, you will be celebrating here with a star page of pentacles. Is that the ace of cups? It sure is. Look at this. Look at what you're going to be celebrating. And this is good karma for you. This manifestation, this balance that you're coming into, this higher guidance, Taurus energy, this inner inner happiness, it's all coming in because of good karma. It is that 16-year cycle that we are that we're ending. Some of you have felt paralyzed for some time from having this, having, having this. I mean, it might have taken a long time for you. And when I say paralyzed, I don't know where I channel like sleep paralysis with this nine of swords. If some of you are experiencing that, I feel for you because that's not, it's not, it's not fun. So <clears throat> that may resonate for somebody. And that may be that queen of the, this, this feminine energy that I'm seeing here. So someone's troubled because they know how much success is coming your way. I feel like this person knows that there's new love here that's coming in for you. So the advice is for you to stand firm. I think we channel that message with the seven of wands. So, I mean, it, it is here, the seven of wands with this 10 of cups. You know, you may be blocking people from your family or family relatives that treated you wrong. You know, this Saturn retrograde has to do with all karmic, learning karmic lessons. It's all about learning karmic lessons. I see the past here feeling very bad about the way they treated you. Okay. And somebody's fleeting tur turmoil. I was going to say tortoise. Look at the Ace of Cups you're showing for this Queen of Cups. Cancer, you know, I just picked up this deck. I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have orchestrated this better. Falling in love or the re reassurance. Resurgence. I don't know why I said reassurance. Resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhance, an enhanced intuition. A new home. For this ace of cups look at this queen of cups here relationships in the developing okay you're moving up to the a new a new level trust your intuition both of these energies speak about trusting your intuition right now care for yourself and others right now may be a time for you to just focus on yourself and fill your cup there's a new there's a, a beautiful connection here between soulmates between soulmates we have emperor and empress yin and yang energy and this is going to be successful i see a marriage here or something long term for you you may have it the complex decision here to make give me an energy for this reading for cancer the empress lavishing abundance lavish abundance give birth to your dreams nurture yourself and others so that's a powerful message here there's a need now for you to nurture yourself and others you know i just noticed the stars in the crown for the empress are the stars in the star is it how many stars are there well that that's what i noticed so success for you lavish abundance i'm seeing the six of cups memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children romanticizing about the past someone who's thinking about you nourish yourself right now in others your pets your family Ten of Pentacles. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. A very happy family life. Financial. I mean, we've been seeing it. The Ten of Cups in this reading showed. In, it showed that that's a financial sec financial security. A happy family life. Finding magic in the little things in life. The dreamer. What does this Empress say? The dreamers. Give giving birth to your dreams. Giving birth to your dreams. A leap of faith. Follow your dreams. 
an unexpected opportunity that's being presented to you ace of cups wants to show again okay i'm gonna get one more not that we need one more but falling in love you're gonna fall in love here <laughs> somebody's falling in love a very happy family life financial security long-term security okay we have the queen of earth and we have the lovers intimate intimate relationships Carefully weigh out a decision. Somebody's carefully weighing out a decision about you. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. This person sees you as the ultimate catch, meaning you're all the queens. All the queens in one. You may have Earth in your chart, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Make time for those around you right now, your family. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Someone who's decisive that's coming towards you. So you don't, they want to make something here work with you. Eight of Pentacles. You've come into your own. You have victory here. Six of Wands with a King of Cups, a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. New partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward is what Spirit is saying. This Knight of Swords is an event that is they're happening very quickly for you. I feel like things are going to happen very quickly for you. Take time to carefully review your options, okay? Is what Spirit is saying. Give me one more energy to end this reading for Cancer. Let me know if this resonated. I'm seeing Mother Empress again. I don't know why these two cards show up together. I don't do this on purpose. I mean, look, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. This, would you give me a chance with this Mother Empress has been, has been like this for the, look, wishes granted. That is the star success for you. I'm sorry for the way I treated you. Somebody here could be healing, healing, I'm seeing Aries, an Aries who wants you, could be near water. This is an emperor. This is the emperor longing and desiring you. This could be a masculine energy that's, that's that's feeling imbalanced. It could be at a distance because of an ex. Who knows? It could be a Virgo. We have second chance. Miss your voice. I'm looking at your social media. Give me one more energy for this reading. By the next full moon. That's happening right now. This message about your intuition. No one compares to you. This person's thought. Somebody here said the deep, deep thought about... Their long-term future, yes. This is a major realization for this person. I need to tell you how much you mean to me. I didn't expect to fall in love with you. I have kept so many things from you. I put others in front of you. This in front of you. I put shame on me. I put others before you. I'm seeing here Aquarius. I put others in front of you. Seeing communication. Protect your energy is what I saw. Protect your energy. Something is coming. Magician. Manifestation. Well, you need to protect this manifestation that's coming your way. See this wheel of fortune, this abundance that's coming your way. Because I feel like this person's seeing it. Somebody's seeing. I'm seeing a, the star again. So confirmation. I stay up at night thinking about you. Could be an Aquarius here who stays up at night thinking about you. Going through an awakening and healing family issues. We have reconciliation. Forgiveness may be needed here, Cancer. So this is where I'm going to leave the reading. Let me know if it resonated with you, Cancer. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. So I'll be back soon with another reading. Until then, Cancer, namaste.